You're listening to the Just Japan Podcast. Everything you want to know about Japan. Hey there, folks, and welcome to episode number 170 of the Just Japan podcast. My name's Kevin. I'm the host of the podcast.、Um, 170 episodes. This is awesome. Now,、uh, this, this episode, I'm walking and talking because often I do some of my best thinking when I'm walking.、Uh, it is near the beginning of January, and、uh, I'm on the last few days of my winter holiday. And it's really great to be back with you guys. So, in this episode, a little bit different than others, I want to talk about goals. I want to talk about goals for 2018 with the Just Japan podcast. So, by the way, you'll hear some interesting sounds. I'm walking down the street here in Beijing, China, where I live. Hey, Kevin, the Just Japan podcast, you're in Beijing. Well, if you guys have been listening for any amount of time or you follow me on YouTube,、um, you'll know that. In the middle of 2017, my family and I packed up and left Japan after I lived there for 10 years. My wife was from Japan. And we headed to Beijing for a really amazing career job opportunity. Do I have regrets that we moved here? Not at all.、Um, uh, Beijing is a very interesting city, very interesting culture.、Uh, I have a fantastic job that is definitely going to get me more places than I ever expected before. So it was definitely worth the move. We're just here for a couple of years, and to be honest, folks, we just got back from Japan yesterday. We were there for a few weeks, my wife, my kids, and I, and、uh, man, I love that place. And it's really lit a candle under me to get this podcast rolling again each and every week in 2018. Now, again, I'm on holiday, so I'm going to be putting out a bit more content while I'm on holiday. Then after that, we're going to get to the, the weekly schedule. So, basically,、um, you guys are saying, Maybe thinking to yourselves, what happened to the Just Japan podcast in 2017? Well, basically, it was a, a really big move my family and I made. Now, I'd put out 160 some episodes almost without only missing a couple of weeks in like three years. And I had a real routine going with the podcast. And things were going swimmingly with the podcast as far as numbers go.、Um, at the beginning of last year, near the, yeah, near the beginning of last year, At its height, the Just Japan podcast was getting more than 30,000 downloads per week. That's right, between SoundCloud and on iTunes and all that stuff, 30,000. And I was pleased as punch. Had a sponsor for a brief period last year. That was great. That helped a lot.、Um, but yeah, then、uh, we decided to make, the, to make this really big move. And moving your entire family to a third country where none of you are from and none of you speak the language and everything is completely new. It's quite a big adjustment, especially for the children. And there was just basically no routine for a long time. And I guess I suppose I was focusing, of course, on my, my new job and impressing people and doing the absolute best I could. But now, you know,、um, we're, we're settled in. We're in a good routine. Things are good at work. And I've got a, a rekindled passion for sharing awesomeness about Japan with all of you guys. So, in this kind of little episode, I want to talk about some of the goals for this podcast in 2018, the different things I want to achieve. Now, as I mentioned, before this, things were rolling around in early 2017, we were, we were pushing 30,000 per episode,、uh, not per episode, I wish that was the case, but per month, that many downloads overall,、um, which was amazing. Great stats, great numbers. Uh, for, a, for a podcast about Japan,、um, I had a lot of great guests on the show, really diverse guests. We talked about different types of jobs in, in Japan, things like the Japanese samurai,、uh, katanas and swords, the history of swords in Japan, and, and traveling in Japan. So many cool things. Talked to a lot of great content creators and writers and really interesting people. So, 
what I want to continue doing is basically what I was doing before. I want to just keep the Just Japan podcast rolling along. To be honest, I don't think the model was broken. Didn't need fixing. So I just want to want to get it going again consistently. And of course, you know, after essentially six months with only putting out two episodes, of course, statistically, the numbers have dropped greatly for monthly downloads. Um, but let's get them back up there, guys, with, with, with consistent weekly episodes. Going to get them out there. So there is the first goal to just get the weekly episodes of the podcast out to you guys so you can enjoy it. Because uh, I know a lot of you say to me, hey, Kevin, I love listening to the podcast on my morning commute or on my run or while I'm at home working. So I want, I want you guys to have more content to listen to. Um, you know, so again, I, I, think, I think the model of the Just Japan podcast was working well. So it just cont- it continued to get really diverse, very interesting guests on to share their stories and their insights about Japan with you guys. So there's goal number one, consistent shows is goal two, getting lots of great guests on. Um, number three, uh, I want to have, I'm going to work really hard once we get the show rolling again to get just consistent sponsors. I want to have weekly sponsors for the podcast. Uh, you know, I've got a family, I've got kids, I've got mouths to feed. And it makes things a lot better and easier. And, and to be honest, it's, it's a lot more motivation for you when you actually, you know, you're getting some financial gains from all this hard work that you put in. Um, you know, dare to dream one day I could be a professional podcaster. Of course, I would love to do that. Of course, I would love to do that. I mean, I'm a big fan of, for example, the Frog Pants Network, Scott Johnson and Brian Ibbett and all those guys who do like the morning stream and um, uh, current geek. And I mean, those guys are, they're, they're busy guys, but they're professional podcasters. And, and I would love to do that. I'd love to do it. But, you know, start off small. Let's just get some sponsors that'll help out upgrade equipment in this nut. So goal, goal number two is to get sponsors throughout the year. And number three, to get better equipment. Um, it's been tough for me um, recording because when I, I did leave Japan, <clears throat> I had to leave my desktop computer behind and... Uh, that was really a, a true comfort zone for me when it came to editing and stuff like that. So um, I would like to get a, you know, kind of a mic upgrade and, and just upgrade in general my whole kind of recording system. Um, yeah, so there's, there's another goal. So, you know, it's, it's just, I, I guess I want to reach out to more people, uh, contact more people, get the love of, of, of Japan out there. And, oh, uh, one, one really cool thing that happened with regards to my Twitter feed. Um, just during the winter holiday, I finally... Burst past 6,000 followers on Twitter, which is really great, guys, because Twitter is a very important way to spread the word of your podcast. If you are a content creator, you know, say you're even, you know, you're a YouTuber, you can't be just on one platform if you want to, if you want success and you want people to know who you are. You got to be on multiple platforms. You got to be on there on Instagram. You got to be on Twitter um, sharing stuff about what you do. So uh, Twitter, over 6,000 followers, going to keep. Keep pushing the Twitter stuff. Keep going along, trucking along. And um, yeah, you know, grow that following, which will in turn help grow the podcast following. So there you go, the Just Japan podcast. Uh, I'm, you know, again, I'm in Beijing, um, but with, with the beauty of Skype, and you're like, Kevin, how do you use all that stuff? You know, you're in Beijing. Well, it's called VPNs, guys, virtual private networks. And you use VPN software on your computers. And it definitely does not work as well as it does outside of here. But if you are in this country and you're behind that great firewall, um, the Golden Shield Project, you can reach out to the world and, and share awesomeness. So yeah, um, I'm going to be back in Japan in June for a few weeks. Um, looking forward to that already. Excited. It was sad to leave. Stocked up on a lot of really great stuff, a lot of cooking stuff and food stuff. And we basically restocked our pantry that should get us through the next six months before we're back in Japan again. You know, of course, my wife is Japanese and she loves cooking. And um, if you guys know Japanese people, they tend to really, you know, they they need their Japanese food. And uh, I'm not complaining because, gosh, golly, I love Japanese food. Eat it every day. Eat it every day. Um, so there you go, guys. That is uh, a little bit about the goals for the Just Japan podcast or 2018. Um, I would love to get up, to be honest, I would love to um, hit 40,000 downloads a month if I could by the end of this year we're gonna really push hard for that and with numbers like that it should not be an issue getting sponsors on a weekly weekly basis um, I would love to have a few sponsors per per show uh, per episode that would be great um, 
yeah, and just and just get more stuff going. Um, I did have a meetup, uh, by the way, over December when I was in Japan, December twenty seventh at the Harbor Tavern in Kobe, and um, a good crew of awesome people came. And uh, I, that's where I actually did the interview for uh, the last episode of the Just Japan podcast, episode 169, where I talked to Rob from TheRealJapan.com. Uh, I interviewed him just before that meetup happened. So that was great. So definitely in June, I want to do another meetup. Um, I, would even, I would even like to do a live, a live show. That would be cool, huh? Wouldn't that be neat? Maybe um, at a pub, uh, gather up a few guests, and uh, we could sit down and drink and listen and input, ask questions. Who knows? Let's think about that. that. That could be another goal, a live show. I know James from the LT Insider Podcast. That's been something he's been wanting to do for quite some time. And he's, he mentions um, that, you know, he a goal of his is to get a live show going as well. So that is something I'd like to do as well, James. Um, yeah, so there we go, guys. Um, you know, uh, it's great to be back. I'm happy to be back, and I'm happy that you guys are listening. I do this for you because you guys are awesome. So there you go, guys. That's it for episode number 170 of the Just Japan podcast. A little bit different than the regular episodes. Just me talking here, folks, uh, about the podcast itself and the goals I'm setting up for this year. So let's let's meet those goals with enthusiasm and get out there and do this stuff, guys. So um, yeah, so thanks for listening to the podcast. Uh, make sure that you guys share the podcast around. You know, if, if you're interested in the Just Japan podcast, share it on your Facebook, on your Twitter. Please spread the word. The more you talk about it. And the more you let people know about it, the, the bigger the show will grow. And you'll help me achieve my goals. We can do it together, guys, hand in hand. I need you. Okay, guys, so that's it for this week's episode. Um, wherever you are in the world, hope you're happy. Hope you're healthy. I'll be talking to you real soon. All right, folks, I'm back in here again um, after I did sign up, but I'm back again. And I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to add on a little... A little bit of extra content here. So I recorded, um, I decided to maybe make a little series of travel tips, Japan travel tips to share with you guys out there who are interested in coming to Japan, traveling to Japan, visiting, living, whatever it may be. Um, Just kind of basic day-to-day kind of small things that will make your time in Japan a bit smoother, more enjoyable. So I wanted to tack one of these on here. I recorded this last night while out for a walk talking about finishing all of your food when eating at someone's house in Japan. Uh, you know, this is not just my opinion here. This is Japanese people will tell you this. Uh, okay, guys. So uh, take care and enjoy this little segment. Hey, guys. It is Kevin here from the Just Japan podcast with a little Japan travel bite. That's right. This is a little series of uh, podcasts, mini podcasts, podcast snippets that will be coming to you from time to time from us here at the Just Japan Podcast. A little bits of information that are going to make your travel to Japan a bit easier, more enjoyable, or your your visit, your long-term move to Japan a bit more enjoyable. So today we're going to talk about eating food in Japan and the term motainai. Motainai is a Japanese word that means wasteful. So when it comes to eating food in Japan, Japanese people tend to clean up everything. When it's meal time, preferably, you eat everything in front of you. This starts at a very young age, when kids are in kindergarten. They're taught to finish everything in their bento boxes, their lunch boxes. And often, when they're yochien, kindergarten students, when they, when they finish their bento boxes, their lunches, at lunchtime, they actually have to walk up to their teacher and show them, look, I ate everything. Everything is done. And they'll walk up and actually present the empty bento box to their teacher for approval. Then they can actually pack it up, put it away, and then they've got playtime. Now, when you're at a restaurant, that's a different story. You don't necessarily have to finish everything, or you don't have to finish everything. You are a paying customer, of course. But this tip is more with regards to actually visiting a Japanese family's home, a Japanese friend's home, eating with Japanese people, you know, home cooking, that kind of thing. You know, in different cultures, there are different rules to how much food you should eat, how much you shouldn't eat. Maybe you can just, you don't have to finish everything, you can walk away. Uh, You know, I live in China at the moment, and in China often, uh, the way it works is people put heaping amounts of food in front of you and if you can't finish it all and you say wow that was really delicious I'm so full but I can't finish it all that makes them feel really good because they did a great job as a host providing you with more food than you could possibly need but in Japan the term multi wasteful again it's, it's a big thing 
So it, it is considered by some people quite insulting in a way. If you if you don't finish the food, they might actually think that maybe you didn't enjoy it. So um, we you know if you're a guest at someone's house, eat everything no matter how full you are. Eat everything, everything in front of you. I know even my my Japanese wife and my mother-in-law um, often from the time my son was a toddler. They would tell him to eat every single piece of rice in his rice bowl. <clears throat> and if he couldn't even, if he left just even a few pieces of rice, he would have to say, I'm sorry, and apologize for not being able to finish all the food. Um, so, you know, if you, when, once you eat everything, if you're really full and they try to serve you more, but you're, you're full, just say, hey, that was really delicious. That was so good. Thank you so much, but I'm really full now. I can't eat anymore. And they'll be really happy. So again, if you're a guest at a, a Japanese family's home with a Japanese friend, do your best to eat everything in front of you. It's a really big part of Japanese food etiquette. And there is a little travel tip from the Just Japan podcast. So folks, um, of course, go over to JustJapanStuff.com and check out all the Japan content over there. If you're not already subscribed to the Just Japan podcast, what are you doing, guys? We're on Stitcher. We're on SoundCloud, on iTunes, iHeartRadio, all over the place. So go follow us. And, of course, you can follow me, Kevin, the host, over on Twitter, at JLandKev. And, again, go to JustJapanStuff.com. Hey, guys, thank you so much for listening to this little travel tip.